Over 8 million households already have incomes low enough for the state to be supporting their cost of living through the welfare system. The cost of living payment, an incentive set up by the government after Covid to help with the cost of living, supposedly, and the increase in the cost of energy, among many other things, given to the poorest of the poor, the people, on benefits, low income households, again, said to help with the cost of living, after the rise of cost in all avenues of living, even though the government themselves play a huge part in that. The payment consists of three cost of living payments, one of £301, one of £300 and one of £299, added together to equate to £900 in total, 9 the inverted 6. And what do I mean about this when I talk about the 9 the inverted 6? Essentially, 6 is hiding behind the face of 9, 9 we know associated to good. So 6 is the inversion of that. Ultimately, 6 can hide in the face of 9. By inverting that, we see the truth, knowing that this is a realm of mirrors and inversion. So if the cost of living payment isn't actually there to help with the cost of living, what is it there for? I say it's an incentive, an incentive to pacify. Pacify the UK population, the lower end of that that are well capable of uprising against the government and this is what they are scared of. They incentivise the lower class, literally pay them. And what a low payment that is of £900 spread across the year. And how it's paid in stages ultimately staggers the lower population, freezes them into moving, ultimately waiting for the payment to arrive, loving that payment, using the payment and then thinking back to how nice that payment felt then waiting for the next one to come in a few months time, ultimately freezing them in their place. You only have to look at say Pavlov's dog, I believe it is in psychology, where dogs are rewarded after certain actions. Ivan Pavlov discovered he could get dogs to salivate at the sound of a bell if he rang a bell every time he fed them. It took him just 23 times pairing food with a bell before only hearing the bell without any food made the dogs drool. American teens are exposed to a half million alcohol ads and social media posts by age 18. That's an awful lot of times alcohol companies have to condition our brains with the mental beliefs they're selling. And this is exactly what's happening and has happened multiple times before. Essentially, they are rewarding the UK population for doing nothing, rewarding them for their behavior, which is ultimately accepting what is going on, accepting the situation. And on the forefront, as I've said, it's helped, but they are actually weakening this part of the population by giving them something that they then rely on. What are they gonna do after? How are they gonna survive when they relied on that extra income? it makes people even more reliant on state. For if the lower class are happy, incentivized, they aren't thinking. And if they aren't thinking, they aren't a problem. Now, of course, this doesn't pacify the whole majority of the population at the lower end, but it does its job and pacifies enough. Stopping all types of riots and protests, uprisings of all types. I am not calling for an uprising. I'm calling for change. And I'm calling for people to take their power back. And I'm well aware that if we just knock out the government, what problems and consequences that will bring. That is not the way. There are many ways. And we know the ways. We just need to action them. There are true leaders out there that will guide the world to a better place. While they take the world in a direction which is unknown, but we all know it's downwards instead of upwards, they pacify the populations to keep them looking the other way. And what better way to do that than to actually pay them? I'm unsure across the world if this is going on in the States, in any other places. But in the UK, the cost of living payment said to help the population. Again, only the lower population. Anybody working doesn't qualify for this award. 
the criteria having to be on income based job seekers allowance income support pension credit universal credit child tax credit working credit as stated low income homes and not only is this pacifying the lower population it is also separating the populations as the working class are now separated from the unworking class the people not in work the people working looking down at the underclass with hate envy and jealousy because they are receiving a payment when they are going out to work every day nine to five five days a week at least and these people that are essentially sitting at home are receiving this payment it's creating a huge amount of envy and jealousy within the world again splitting us creating more divisions which i've spoke about they do in every avenue whether that's religion politics sports absolutely anything there are many things to unite us but they use the things to divide us there are many good things happening across the world instead we are plagued with the bad the media is said to be our friend our enemy now on the forefront of this cost of living payment it'll make people smile not knowing the narrative set behind it yes it may be costing the government millions but that millions is basically buying them time time to maneuver as the populations are pacified not everybody is asleep to this and there is many of the lower class or low income homes i hope the terminology doesn't offend anybody that are well woke to this or well aware and are happy to laugh in the government's face by taking the money and still speaking out or rising against for they think us fools but it is they that have become the fools we must take our power back and that firstly comes from not relying on state the more we rely on state the more control and manipulation they can employ and this is in every avenue of life taking control back down to even growing your own food if we're basing our income off government incentives and government income then we're essentially slaves to them some people may argue even the workers are slaves but it is a different type of slave that man or woman rises every morning to go out and work for their money and would do that in most jobs ultimately still a slave but a slave to a different type of system a little bit more flexibility the self-employed man believes he has ultimate flexibility but does he really within this matrix there is no getting away from it until the matrix and the narrative and the story and the people controlling that crumble power to the people love and light